Maybe you have um, heard about the new trend in terrible parenting. It's called babies. This is the label that certain white upper class liberal parents have given to their to their children who they want to raise gender neutral. They want gender neutral children without gender labels. They said, down with labels, no more labels. And then they proceeded to invent a new label, which is babies. Uh, so no, we don't we don't want any labels whatsoever, except for these over here that we've just invented off the top of our heads. There's an NBC article about this trend, and uh, it's gotten some attention. It focuses especially on the stories of Nate and Julia Sharp, who are, uh, well, actually, let me just, I'll read a little bit from this article, just to kind of, just so you understand what we're dealing with here, uh, to, to kind of set the, the stage a little bit. Uh, let me read from this article in NBC. It says, um, three-year-old twins, Zyler and Caden, scurried around the boy and girl's clothing racks of a narrow consignment store filled with toys. Zyler, wearing rainbow leggings, scrutinized a pair of hot pink and purple sneakers. Zayden, in a T-Rex shirt, fixated on a musical cube that flashed colorful lights. At a glance, the only discernible difference between these fraternal twins is their hair. Zyler's is brown and Caden's is blonde. Is Zyler a boy or a girl? How about Caden? That's a question their parents, Nate and Julia Sharp, say only the twins can decide. The couple from Cambridge, Massachusetts, of course, represent a small group of parents raising babies, children being brought up without gender designation from birth. Nate, uh, Sh Nate Sharp told NBC News, a baby is, I think, different things to different people. For us, it means raising our kids with, with, with gender neutral pronouns, so they, them, their, rather than assigning he, she, him, her from birth based on their anatomy. Let's pause right there for just a moment, okay? I don't mean to interrupt um, Mr. Nate Sharp, but they, their, them, those are pronouns that you have assigned. So you're saying, well, we're not going to assign he or she, so instead we're going to assign, assign they and them? You still assigned pronouns, you nitwit. It's exactly what you're doing. You just assigned different pronouns. And actually... He and she are not assigned by anyone any more than your biological sex is assigned. This whole idea of assigned sex. What do you mean assigned? Where is sex? Where, where is that happening? It, 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 okay, it's not like you've got a bunch of ambiguous, neutral babies being born, and then they're all laying out in a nursery, and then you've got doctors that come by and go, uh, we're going to assign him boy, make that one a girl. Uh, we'll just do two girls over there. We'll do that one a boy. No, you know, actually, not. Well, let's make that one a girl, that one a boy. And uh, all right, so then we got two girls. No, that's not what's happening. That's that. That is not. There's no. There's no sex assignment ward in in the birthing center of the hospital. That doesn't ha see what happens is you've got boys and girls who are born, and then the doctors will look at them and say, "Oh, that's a boy," or "Oh, that's a girl," and then linguistically. There are certain pronouns that come attached to that naturally as part of our language. It's not a sign. What you're doing here, Nate Sharp, is you are actually assigning artificially a pronoun that um, that would not otherwise that that is not natural to the to the child.